Hello, what's up YouTube fam? This is your boy Nigel of All Trades. Welcome to my channel. In this news bulletin, we will be talking about Alex Jones as he is ordered to pay the Sandy Hook victims' families in which was a defamation slander lawsuit. He is ordered to pay these victims' families uh, $965 million in total. Um... Ooh, that's a lot to Monty. That's a lot to Monty. <laughs> well, okay, so the families of eight Sandy Hook shooting victims on Wednesday won nearly a billion dollars in damages from the InfoWars Alex Jones, a devastating blow against his empire and a message from the jury that his lies and those of his followers have crippling consequences. Mr. Jones, who for years said the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting that killed 21st graders and six educators in Newtown, Connecticut, was a government hoax, now faces financial ruin. But it is unclear how much money the families will ultimately collect. The families and their lawyers sat in stunned silence as the court clerk read one by one the sums awarded to each of 15 plaintiffs in the case. After court was adjourned, they hugged one another quietly, weeping. Mr. Parker, who was who has endured online abuse, harassment, and death threats since, formed the counterpiece, excuse me, centerpiece of the Connecticut case every day in the courtroom. We got up on the stand and we told the truth, he said. Telling the truth should be so hard and it should be so scary. In which he uh was awarded the largest amount, um, $120 million. Mr. Parker added in a nod to Mr. Jones' followers, for anybody that still chooses to listen to that man, just ask yourself, what has he ever given you? And I will say this, um, I remember around the 2016 election, um, I did watch InfoWars a little bit. I ain't gonna lie about it. Um, but basically, um, and I actually seen these videos on YouTube, um, where they were talking about the Democrats and the ballot, you know, being voting, uh, well, you know, the, the votes and everything, and actually talking about how there are actually dead people voting. Somehow, their names are still floating around, and they're, you know, getting votes in on the ballots and admit uh those democrats that i did see in the video they look shistier than a motherfucker like i was like what in the world goose gander in the third all right so I, uh, it was crazy so if i can find those videos i will actually put those um in my description box if i can find them uh, so, but if you don't see those links, then I cannot find them. But anywho, back to the article. Um, it also states, In all likelihood, Mr. Jones does not have the money to pay Wednesday's award. In August, a forensic economist estimated that Mr. Jones's empire was worth a maximum of $270 million. But that same month, Mr. Jones put his parent company, Free Speech Systems, into bankruptcy. Mr. Jones claimed that a debt of $54 million owed to a company he controls he made, had made him insolvent. It made him pretty much not seeing a way out. Like, there's no light at the end of the tunnel, basically. Um, the Sandy Hook families have challenged the bankruptcy in court, saying the filing is an effort to avoid paying what are mounting damages. Mr. Jones, unrepentant, live streamed the jury's verdict on Wednesday on his InfoWars show. They covered up what really happened and now I'm the devil, he said. I'm, a <laughs> I'm actually proud to be under this level of attack. Wednesday's award was divided among the 15 plaintiffs in the Connecticut case, which included parents, siblings, children, and spouses of eight victims and an FBI agent who was implicated in the bogus theories, which falsely claimed that the families were actors in a government plot to enact gun control and that the massacre never happened. 
Over two weeks of testimony in the Connecticut trial, the family showed how Mr. Jones ignored years and years of pleas and demands that he stop airing Sandy Hook falsehoods because they boosted InfoWars' product sales. In court, the witnesses shared wrenching stories of harassment by conspiracy theorists who believe Mr. Jones' lies, including death and rape threats, confrontations and messages threatening to defile and dig up the victim's graves, which, that's too far. Respect the dead. Like, that's crazy. And another thing for um, the sales of InfoWars to increase, that goes to show how even though he was the forefront of this movement in a sense it also shows you the thought process of other people and it's not necessarily saying oh they were talked into believing that's what happened but they already felt that way themselves so I'll go on to say that much it just goes to show you the, the differences and variations of people's opinions and what they feel is fact and what they believe in because uh yeah it just, it's just amazing when you like sit back and think about it and actually see it happening eye opener okay and then it also goes on to say um Let's see, in mid-2018, the families of 10 victims filed four separate defamation lawsuits against Mr. Jones, later combined into three. Beyond stopping Mr. Jones, the family said the lawsuits aimed to draw attention to an explosive and harmful disinformation and false narrative spread by people with powerful social media platforms who were suddenly held into account. And also, he did get media attention because uh, he was a supporter of Trump, um, which ties into what I was saying earlier about that uh, 2016 election. Um, And to continue on to this, just to get to a trial in front of a jury is a huge accomplishment, given the extreme measures Alex Jones has taken to try to, to avoid that, said Eleanor Sterling, a lawyer on the family's legal team. His attack on these families has been a dehumanizing attack, and one of the ways to restore a sense of balance and community and humanity is to try this case in front of a jury. Um, yeah. And I think if someone, in my humble opinion, like, if they're going to keep saying a tragedy is a hoax and I'm sitting here hurting and yeah I will take that shit to court too so in other words I'm glad the plaintiffs got what they wanted okay and like share subscribe comment see y'all